Hi, my name is Girish Venkat. I'm the founder and CEO of Thrively. I have been a serial entrepreneur. Uh, Thrively is my sixth startup. Thrively started as a personal journey for me as a dad watching my son grow up. My son was academically doing fine, but I didn't see a lot of drive or passion in him. He used to finish his homework at school, come home, watch TV, play video games, uh, and still think life is not fair. Uh, we call them privileged kids. I started spending more time with my son when he got into middle school. Uh, hey, maybe you should learn coding. My son's reaction is, nah, that's not interesting. Maybe you should start building some stuff. Nah, that's not interesting. When it comes from parents, the kid's first reaction is always a no. 95% of the parents fall into this trap. You know, we ask our kids, what are you interested in? They always say, nothing. You know, we get all worked up and we tell them what we know. They don't like that either. Uh, I fell into the same trap. It took me a couple of years to realize what a lame parent I am. I call that my lame parent moment. I am pushing my son to do what I want to do rather than what he should be exploring himself. The things that came to my mind at the time were, how do I help my son understand who he is, what his trends are, okay, discover himself, more, learn more about himself. We are always good at telling kids what they are not good at, what they should be good at, but we don't tell them how awesome they are in who they are. Unfortunately, schools are based on deficit model and we as parents are equally guilty of that. How do I help my son explore his aspirations? My son was big into video games and I hate video games, so we never connected at all. How do I help my son exposed to all the enrichment out there? Exposure to the right opportunities at the right time can be life altering. That's what seeded thrively in my head. Uh, you know, as an entrepreneur, I was always looking for a right angle to get the company started. Uh, I think I was destined to build Thrively. Uh, so this is way back in 2010. You know, the company got started in 2014. But 2010, I was sitting in the airport trying to catch my next flight. And I randomly picked up two books. The first book is by Jennifer Fox. The book is uh, Your Child's Strengths. Jennifer Fox has been educator for the past 40 years trying to pioneer strength-based education. First time I heard the word strength-based education and that got me excited. Okay, uh, I had not heard anyone talking about like strength-based education. Uh, today, you know, a lot of teachers talk about that, but this is way back in 2010. Okay, and Jennifer Fox talks about how we put 35 kids in a classroom, teach every kid the same subject the same way, even though we know all of them are different. So how do we personalize the classroom based on kids' strengths and interests? Okay, it was, it's an awesome read, you know, I would recommend that. The second book I picked up is Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers. Malcolm talks about, you know, how Bill Gates became B Bill Gates or Beatles became Beatles. One of the things Mark Malcolm talks about in his book, which stuck in my head was, it takes 10,000 hours to achieve greatness. Okay, we all know, uh, you know, Beatles are awesome today, but, you know, Beatles had spent 15,000 hours performing on the street okay, before we got to know who Beatles are. Or Bill Gates had spent 10,000 hours coding in high school, you know, before he started Microsoft. We all kid ourselves that people are born with the greatness gene. Either you have it or you don't. One of the fascinating things I learned about human brain while I was researching for Thrively is that all humans are born with the same number of brain cells. Everyone watching this video, Einstein, Newton, we were all born with the same number of brain cells. When the brain gets stimulated, the connections between the brain cells increases, and more the connection, more information the brain can process. It just so happened that Einstein got more stimulated than all of us in this. So how we as parents and educators, when I drop my kid at eight o'clock in school and pick them up at three, eight hours of enrichment at school, and when I take them back home, eight hours of enrichment at home, how do we, you know, if the kids get 360 degree enrichment, we are going to create many, many, many more geniuses. Thrively was founded on a core philosophy that every child has a genius and they deserve to thrive. That's why we built Thrively. So Thrively is a personalized learning journey to develop a thriving whole child. Thrively helps kids to discover their strengths, okay, understand who they are. We help them find their purpose in life. We help them build all the non-cognitive skills, including grit, confidence, 
persi persistence, tenacity, resilience, all the four C's in life, and then help kids collaborate with other kids and solve real world problems. Through this journey, the K-12 journey, we help every kid thrive in life. As I said at the beginning, Thrively started as a personal journey for me as a dad watching my son grow up. Uh, we initially launched Thrively for parents, but some educators saw Thrively and said, we need to bring this into classrooms. And that's how we got Thrively into classrooms. Okay, uh, we have got a lot of love from educators over the last three years. Thank you for that. Uh, together, let us uncover the genius in each child. Thank you.